Putin is ready to share Crimea with Ukraine. President of Russia Vladimir Putin is ready to share sovereignty of Crimea with Ukraine, according to an astonishing new peace plan, according to the Daily Mail. It is noted that Putin sent his trusted interior minister, Vladimir Kolokoltsev, to the US with new proposals to end the war that he started, say, sources in both Moscow and Kiev. The Daily Mail says that despite being sanctioned, Kolokoltsev was allowed into the US ostensibly to attend a US meeting of police chiefs. Leading Ukrainian TV journalist Dmitry Gordon said he had received details of the package from our intelligence sources, while Russian telegram channel Gozdumskaya, which claims insider sources in Moscow, separately reported a similar set of Putin demands. The main purpose of Kolokoltsev's arrival was to hand over Russia's peace plan to the US authorities, said Gordon, who said it was a Putin plan to end the war. The demands were that Ukraine must completely withdraw from Donetsk and Luhansk regions, both of which are now partially annexed by Russia. Crimea would become a specially demilitarized administrative territory with dual subordination, to Ukraine and the Russian Federation. The document contains the following key proposals. Ukraine must withdraw completely from the Donetsk and Lugansk regions. The Russian Federation will transfer to Ukraine the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant and control of a 100-kilometer demilitarized zone along the Dnieper up to the Black Sea. Ukraine must commit to not cut off water supplies to Crimea. Ukraine must include its status as a non-aligned country in the constitution and not join NATO or other alliances. Ukraine must enshrine in the constitution the concept of a peacetime army composed of 350,000 people and have a limited number of armaments. In particular, Ukraine will not be able to have more than 125 combat aircraft of any type. Finally, Crimea is defined as a special demilitarized territory with double subordination to Ukraine and the Russian Federation. Other points cited by the Ukrainian agency Unayan include the United States lifting the ban on the supply of high technologies to the Russian Federation and also sanctions against the oil and gas complex and the banking system. Furthermore, the Russian Federation says it is ready to discuss the full transfer of the regions of Zaporizhia and Kherson to Ukraine. Again, according to Unayan, a point of the plan specifies that the Russian Federation has nothing against Ukraine's accession to the EU. Furthermore, according to Moscow, a ceasefire along the front line should be introduced immediately after the start of negotiations to be held in the Russia, US, China, EU, Ukraine format. Finally, the Russian side deems it necessary to relaunch the treaty on short and medium range missiles, which Ukraine must sign. Recall by the end of 2024, Volodymyr Zelensky wants to have Ukraine's proposal to end the war ready to be presented to the Russian government. On June the 16th, during the Swiss Peace Summit, the Ukrainian president stated that the next and final summit with his allies should be held in months, not years. What dom nash? Паха. Живой зато остался, самое главное, блядь. У нас не по-детски. Вот этот подвал. Не мой, блядь. Был дом целый, блядь. 155-м калибром разобрали нас укропы, сука. Вот наша, блядь, рабочая дудка была, орудие, блядь. Вот этот дом был целый, с боекомплектом, с БК, блядь. Чудом, сука, выжили, блядь. Thank you.